Okay, so I got a couple of hole saws or core bits to try out here by RTC, the diamond core bits. This one is an inch and a quarter, and this one's a quarter inch. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try them out, see how they work, and do a little demonstration. So this tool has this little rod that comes with it. I didn't actually realize that till I just opened it. And what happens is when you cut a core, a bit, I mean the piece of tile usually gets stuck in there. So this is so you can push it out. I usually use an awl or something, but these actually come with a little tool here to push out. You can even go through the center here to be able to knock out the piece that might get stuck in there. And this one, this one comes with a tool. See it right, right there. So that's a nice. Okay, so I got it on my old beat up cordless drill here. So, so you want to keep it wet, but. Sometimes it's hard to start because if you if you just put it on there and try to start, it's just gonna walk. It's gonna walk all over the place. So there's a couple of ways of doing it. You can you can what you want to do is when you first start it is is bring it down on an angle, right? While it's spinning into the place you want. You're gonna have the spot marked there. So you're gonna start the saw up. Bring it down, and then gonna keep it wet, obviously. As you go along, see how I got the sponge here. What you want to make sure you got is a battery that doesn't die on you. Okay, so I changed the battery. And that's that. So, another way of doing it too, this is the way I usually do it. You mark your tire, usually with a square, and then you get a piece of board here. This is a, a foam board or a piece of plywood, small piece of plywood or whatever. But I like the foam board. You put it in place over where it's got to go. Now that makes like a little reservoir. And also it holds the, the drill in place. So when you start, it just goes right down into it. And you start drilling. You see there's still water in there, keeps it wet all the time. The, um, the board makes like a little reservoir. And that's done. And see now how that piece Got stuck in there. I'm use this little pin to push it out. It's really stuck in there. Here it comes. And it helps get it out. It really comes in handy. Now this is a very hard porcelain tile. I did a whole kitchen floor with this tile and it's a really tough tile. And this um, drill bit's um, really just eating run, going right through it.
So this is a quarter inch. You can give this one a shot. Water on here. Let's see how it goes. Nice. This is a pretty good job. Now that piece is stuck in there now. That piece is stuck in there. So, let's see if I can knock it out. Very close. Okay, so this worked out really well. It did a nice job. Cut it quickly. And um, I can say, yeah. That, that seems to be a pretty good good bit.